Hello everybody, this is Gwen O'David from the Alternative BBC. Yes, the bathroom broadcasting coach is broadcasting and coaching once again from her bathroom. Today is the 3rd of May 2020 and it's session 42 and I'm going to be talking about how to cope with good and bad days. Now today should have been a really good day for me because I was supposed to be doing my one woman show up in Stroud uh, in the Cotswolds and of course everything has been cancelled so all those 150 people who would have been waiting for me to get on stage I'm sorry I have to disappoint you anyway uh, I decided today I was going to do something different so I signed up for an online comedy course and I spent the entire afternoon laughing my head off so uh, I made today into a good day just by making that decision yesterday we had a look at consequences and how action leads to consequences but also that inaction also leads to consequences. And I shared my favourite motto with you, which is, if it's to be, it's up to me. Now, the consequences of one action I took at the age of 16 have remained with me since that day. I was up on the sports field practising for the school sports and I was doing the long jump. Now, unfortunately, the sand was rock hard and I fell really badly and hurt my low back, which entailed my very first trip to the physiotherapist for some deep heat and exercises. That was back in 1973. I was going to be a PE teacher. That's all I dreamt about. And soon after going to college in Barry to do just that, my whole life fell apart when I was told I had an arthritic condition of the right kneecap called Chondro Malaysia Patella, which meant that unless I changed direction, I would probably be walking with a stick by the time I was 30. Now, why am I telling you all of this? Well, since that time, uh, every single day of my life, I've had either low back or knee problems, uh, knee pains, both interconnected, I would imagine. And at its best, it was unpleasant and present. At its worst, I had one orange and three consecutive blue disabled parking badges, which was nine years of disability. I also had a knee operation with three metal pins in my leg and pain at times so bad I felt it would drive me mad. Nowadays, I have learned to adapt to it and I cope. I have a handmade chair in my office. Um, I also have a memory foam bed, exercises, medication, hot water bottle, you name it, I use it to manage my condition. And it allows me to function remarkably well, but I will still have what I call bad pain days, when no amount of cocodamols and hot water bottles will ease the pain. And yesterday was a very bad pain day. So I know what good and bad days are like even before the COVID crisis. I don't need to tell you what to do on a good day. They do sort themselves out. But on a bad day, well, I had a choice. Stay in bed all day and uh, give in to it. A very reasonable decision. Really look after myself and give myself a little bit of TLC tender loving care and a few extra treats perhaps. Or I could continue with what I had planned, which was to go for a walk in the Bluebell Woods. Not really a movable feast, as they are at their best for just a few days, and it was sunny. And I decided to continue with a plan. The pain was going to be there no matter what I did. And now, because of my decision, I also have some wonderful memories and video footage of a lovely afternoon. And the pain has been forgotten by today. So the choice really is yours at all times and there's really nothing wrong with accepting that you're having a bad day for whatever reason, whether that be um, pain, physical pain or because you're feeling a little bit down in the dumps. Uh, getting through it the way you think is right is okay for that and okay for you. Acceptance is what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. Acceptance of our situation, whatever that situation is. Okay, lovely to talk to you as ever. Have a great night and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.